We've taken food into the oral cavity, past the tongue and salivary glands, which each have important functions, through the pharynx, down the esophagus, and now we're going into the stomach. That's where we've been so far. And the stomach, this is where we are. Things are gonna get complicated. Stomach and small intestine are probably the most complex. We've got regulation and hormones and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we're doing the stomach this week and then small intestine, large intestine, accessory organs of the liver and gallbladder will also be next week. So before we dive into the stomach, let's actually dive into the stomach. What are the functions of the stomach? Learning check, main functions. It's gonna be everything except for ingestion and defecation, everything that the digestive system does. So we're gonna have propulsion. This is gonna be a form of peristalsis that is going to be smooth muscle contractions, just like it was in the esophagus to allow food to go from here to there. We need to do that. Then we've got mechanical breakdown. I'm gonna do these in different colors. They're not necessarily the same colors I did in that last video where I color coded this stuff. Mechanical is not spelled that way. Mechanical breakdown. This is going to be churning and mixing waves. This also um, via muscles that are going to mix stuff up. That was, that, that's what that looks like, right? We are going to have chemical digestion. You would just need to write that for your learning check. Um, this is going to be primary, I'm adding some more detail. HCL, acid, and pepsin are the two big ones. Pepsin is an enzyme, HCL is an acid. There's some fat digestion as well. These are enzymes or highly acidic things that are going to break bonds or denature proteins in contrast to churning. Last thing is absorption. Absorption is not huge in the stomach, but there's some. So primarily alcohol, aspirin, um, vitamin B12. These are actually lipid soluble things um, that are absorbed here. The small intestine is the major area where chemical digestion and absorption are going to occur. So this is a big one. This is a pretty big one, much smaller one. Okay, we're gonna Start that next.